ain't no problem. Just another thing that you do here in the shop. You know, when you come up to something, a project, so to speak, just, uh, you know, kind of think about it for just a second and then build a jig. If you have more than one or two of something to do, build a jig. The, the, the project at hand is, I wanted to use these half-inch bolts, this particular one, the thread length, simply because of the unthreaded length here. I could have used a shorter bolt, but I wouldn't have had this unthreaded part, and I do need that. And, and, and what, what I've done there is I used a little washer out yonder. You put the... Uh, this is a sealed ball bearing. I don't know. It's got a number on it there. That's irrelevant, I'm sure. The bearing goes there. It's a half inch inside, right dead on it. And then this is a larger banjer bolt copper gasket. And put that right on there. And the reason you use that is so you don't clamp the bearing. You only clamp that inside roller part right there and the rest of it can turn free that's the reason for that so uh, this is the, this is the assembly we got now what we have to do is to install this to this okay and you see how long that is right there and, and I did I did elect to use and a, a lock nut. I'm going to use a lock nut instead of a lock washer and a bolt. I think it, it'd be more. It'd be more better. So the problem is the. And I did take the locking part out of this one. When when you put this on here, and and that's that's about where it'll be. You got this much thread sticking out, and, and that's and that's not. That's not, it, it don't look good, and it's not acceptable uh, thread length to be left on a project. It's just not good. We're going to have to cut that off, and while we got it down here on the table, we, the, when I do, when I, we, we got to cut that off. So how are you going to do it? You're going to put in a vise and hacksaw it off. We have four to do, and we want a real nice straight cut, and Possibly, we will do more in the future. Now, with that criteria in mind, what you going to do? Okay, we're going to do this. Y'all see that? Uh, I bent this thing up. Uh, this is just one of many of the fixtures for the little 4x6 Harbor Freight El Cheapo made somewhere else bandsaw. This is just one of the labor saving things that you do on a daily basis that you just do them and throw them in the box and use them later. But what this is, this right here, it measures out a quarter inch thick, just regular old scrap steel, two inches wide, quarter inch thick, and ever how long it is. And, and I did drill a hole in there that is a nice pleasing fit for that boat right there. Just a standard half inch drill bit. It goes right in there. It's uh, it's no slop in it. And I bent this. And, and I didn't do no measuring. Just kind of visual so I'd have some working room. I'm going to show we're going we're gonna to use this. And be good to that precise angle right there. Oh, yeah, any way you put it on there, it's right on it. Or it's as near as need be, let's put it that way. I didn't put the laser on it or nothing like that, no dial indicator. It's good enough. But when you do this right here and you don't see no light in you, in there, you know, they ain't no need to go no further. All right, and I got this thing made, and whoa, 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 we up here, the, the next thing was how, how, well, how, 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 how long did I know where to cut that at? So what I've done is I measured, I took the bearing and put the washer there, put that other washer on top right there, and I got that there, that dial, that dial indicator, and I put it right yonder, and it, it marked out 491 thousandths is what that measurement was. Uh, keeping that in mind, I sawed off a piece of tubing 
five hundred thousandths. You know, that's close enough. Uh, we're gonna put this right here. That takes the place. We don't want that. We don't. We do. We do. We don't want this. This is a seal to bear in. But even at that, we do not want that in a environment where it'll get dust and dirt and shavings in there. Just standard practice in case that was not to be a seal bearing. So we want to protect that at all costs. Keep it away from the work area. So I cut this piece of pipe, your filler, and I'm going to put this right in here like this right here. And I'm going to take, this is the bolt that I'm actually going to use, the lock washers, not this one I took the plastic out so it would be easy to assemble. And you just put that right on there. Y'all see what we got there? That's it. And I'm going to tighten that up right there. But I'm going to show you something. Let's go down there at that saw, and I'll show you something, how we're going to use this thing. The problem is, when you, when you, when you clamp these together, then you don't have any support right here when you saw that off. It ain't long enough. And if you put it this way, it ain't long enough. So the problem is, is how to hold a short bolt into a bandsaw. And what you do is you bring your fixture over and you put it right in there like that. The uh, do, do, don't tighten it up just yet because you you want to this the thread let's see the thread that is on top right here what you want to do is to turn this to where that you have a thread on top in the position where that you want your blade to fit you don't want to start to cut on a half of a half of a, a thread thing there okay the way you do that is put this in the vise tighten it up tighten it up just lightly the first time put that in the vise bring this over to just past this lock nut here and then tighten up these this movable jaw tighten it up on the fixture like so okay now that's tight but as you can see if you can see the position where I'm at now I'm on that spiral right there and if I start to cut right here it'll make that blade pull toward or push away from the distance that I want to cut so what I want to do is just loosen this up lightly. Uh, keep in tension enough there and turn this to where that that's a half a thread. Tighten this back up, maintaining that half of thread in there. And it turned. That's not right. If it ain't right, do it again. That would pull it towards the blade. So I want it to be right there. And, and then and then what I'll do is is I will maintain that setting on on all of them. And then when I cut them off, they will all be they'll all be to the same length. Okay, let's cut one.